What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 29 and today's topic I'll be going to talk about uh, different uh, uh, different aspects of alignment like there are multiple alignments that are available for uh, for your PDF data or mm, sorry your table data or row data or whatever you can say you can create alignment left hand side right hand side or middle or center whatever so we can see it uh, but before moving forward there are uh, uh, four or five different use case I'm not sure so how to create table with right alignment how to create table with left alignment how to create table with uh, sorry center alignment and next one is the middle alignment okay so there are four total use cases so let me first open this thing okay so what I'll do I will just write the first thing uh, the first uh, use case is uh, how to create table with right alignment okay so for the alignment we need to use something different I will tell you what is that so before that from report lab dot platypus import paragraph simple doc template table table style then from report lab dot leap import colors okay so next thing is we'll create a now we'll create one pdf document object so this is going to be like simple doc template as this is tutorial 29 i'll give it to tutorial 29.pdf okay then we'll define one flow object flowable object actually not flow <laughs> it's like my bad so flow ob flowable object now uh, we'll define the data let's say data is going to be again one two three four five I can use for looping but I'm not doing it I'm not sure <laughs> why I'm not doing that but again it's normal the data is not the main part for this tutorial okay so one two three four five so this is our data so let's create the table t equals to table with data now the fun main part so we need to define two more argument row row heights and this is going to be uh, like this and one more is call okay now row heights is going to be let's say uh, 40 for i in range mm, I'm not sure uh, for i in range how many columns are there uh, 1 2 3 4 5 probably 5 okay so this is going to be 1 2 6 okay and for this the same thing but here it will be one two three so it is going to be one to four okay so let's run this thing first okay so it's working now we'll set the style now okay so t style okay so this is going to be table style so let's create the box first okay box and grid is normal thing for us so this is going to be 0 0 then minus 1 minus 1 then probably 1 and color will be going to be colors dot red box and it is actually 
this okay so here this is going to be we'll use greed here greed and color will be blue okay and now we'll use the alignment so before doing the alignment let's check this thing now how it is actually how it looks actually okay so there will be this and this okay so t dot set style will be t style okay so flow obj dot append is going to be t style and then pdf dot bill equals to flowable object so that's it so we'll get one um, pdf with this uh, table data like three row and five column but mm, now there is no alignment we'll get the default alignment now so mm, something happened uh, for which line which line we are getting the error i'm not sure actually Mm, not sure actually for what actually we are getting this error flow object would happen dot t style this is not t style actually this is going to be t okay so terminated so let's refresh this thing okay so it looks nice okay but if you see the by default the alignments are here means left hand side okay so now i'll move it to right hand side okay so left alignment we can do using this okay so for left alignment it is actually going to be very simple okay for right alignment i'll see how to do it so let's come here and we'll see how to do it so align this and going to be right okay okay perfect so let's see how it goes now terminated see everything has been moved towards right hand side so right alignment is also completed but don't worry guys i will definitely upload the source code at a separate python file as well but i'm also attaching the same code here as well so it will be easier for all of you to refer this slide at the later part when you guys are uh, practicing or do something similar so now it is center so so this is going to be center done see it is centered now okay so it's very simple okay and the last part is going to be middle alignment okay so this is very special okay so for middle thing you need to use v align vertical alignment and here you have to use middle okay now let's see the magic see it's here here in middle middle but left hand side okay so uh one thing uh um, i'm not sure this is something called right middle or something no there's something not it's only middle but it will be left hand side so if you run this thing it is middle but towards left hand side okay so that's cool guys 
uh, that's really cool uh, if you know this sort of things it will be easier for you to format your table um, as per your requirement very easily and programmatically ultimately you need to do everything programmatically not manually so the more more or less the world is moving towards automations so if you know this sort of things it will be definitely give you edge towards other like uh, resource or other competitor or other your anywhere like if you're going for an interview or if you're doing something for your client or if you're doing something for your boss definitely will get um, like edge towards uh, based on your like delivery or your way of uh, delivering something let's say if you're doing it manually it takes uh, two hours or if you're doing it uh, automatically it will definitely help you to uh, deliver the whole report within like say 15 minutes or something like that so that's it guys that's it for today's tutorial this is tutorial 29 and i believe i have done all the parts yes so completed so alignment is completed so for table we know how to create table how to append or add or insert image how to insert paragraph how to create multiple uh, columns with multiple fonts color background how to add grids or how to add a box how to create span how to create alignment so everything has been completed now one more part is pending and after that we'll do the real use case so probably the real use case will be on uh, tutorial 30 so probably uh, there what i'll do i'll try to uh, import one csv file and i create the table using the same csv file in the form of pdf table so that is the main part so hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and those are watching our channel for the first time guys please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you should not miss any notification and if you are enjoying this tutorial or other tutorials we have multiple videos please like please hit the like button share one comment uh, try to um, share our videos with family and friend it will actually help you to reach bigger audience and for all the udemy students guys special thanks uh, to you uh, i hope you guys will definitely support me by enrolling or subscribing to my course for this year as well i'm wishing you all happy new year and if you have any doubt clarification question you can reach me out directly i'll be always available so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day